Hello and welcome to World Watch on Owile Care TV. I am Anthonia Awokolo, a fundraising group that has spent tens of millions of dollars on Donald Trump's legal fees, stands to benefit from a new fundraising tie-up with the Republican National Committee. According to media reports on Thursday, since clinching the Republican presidential nomination earlier this month, Trump can now raise money with the RNC ahead of the November 5th election remarks against Democrat Joe Biden. While he easily swept to the Republican nomination, Trump is facing a growing financial squeeze as legal documents pile up and many major donors remain reticent about writing checks, sometimes due to concerns about donations going to legal fees. U.S. Representative Matt Gaetz is set to join forces re with Republican U.S. Senate hopeful Trent Staggs, the mayor of Riverton, Utah, for a town hall in the state. The event, scheduled for March 28 at 7 p.m., will take place at Riverton High School. He's thrilled to have Congressman Gaetz come to Utah. This election is about pushing back on the establishment politicians who have destroyed so much and no one has fought the establishment more than Matt Gaetz. Staggs is among several contenders vying for the Republican nomination for the Senate seat currently held by Republican Senator Mitt Romney. President Joe Biden has announced he's cancelling nearly $6 billion in student debt for 78,000 public service workers. Teachers, nurses and firefighters are among those eligible for the relief. To date, Biden has cancelled $143 billion in debt for nearly 4 million people. Republicans have slammed the Democratic president's debt forgiveness, saying U.S. taxpayers ultimately foot the bill and it stokes rising university fees. In this latest move, 78,000 public service workers will see an average of about $77,000 of student loan debts cancelled. These public service workers have dedicated their careers to serving their communities, but because of past administrative failures, never got the relief they were entitled to under the law. Around 43 million people in the U.S. have student loan debt, with federal loans making up the vast majority. The United States Department has announced more than $47 million in humanitarian assistance for the emergency response in Sudan, neighboring Chad, and South Sudan. The Department of State spokesperson Matthew Miller said the Assistant Secretary for Population, Refugees, and Migration, Juleta Vals Noes, met the Chadian Prime Minister, Sose Masra, according to the United Nations. Sudan is the largest humanitarian crisis in the world, with over 8 million persons newly displaced place since the conflict began last April and 25 million people needing aid. This, the UN says, includes more than 1 million Sudanese refugees who have fled to neighboring countries including Chad, Egypt, Ethiopia, South Sudan and the Central African Republic. That's all we have for you on World Watch. I am Anthonia Mwokolo. Follow us on our social media handles at Ubeleke TV. Visit our website at www.ubeleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Ubeleke TV, rising star at the fairground.